Well everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE and see how this phone holds up in the middle of 2021. Now obviously what I can tell you is this phone is still completely worth it, it's not even a year old, but I do want to talk about I guess a couple of things that have changed and I think the more interesting thing is probably the price tag. You know, this thing when it first came out was substantially cheaper than the standard Samsung Galaxy S20, but it really didn't miss out on too many things which I'm really happy about and in some ways it's actually a better deal than something like a Samsung Galaxy S21 if I'm being completely honest. Now on the front you do have that beautiful 6.5 inch Super AMOLED panel, 1080p but you do have 120Hz so still a very good panel at that, USB Type-C on the bottom and you do have a microSD card slot on this device as well. So that's another really big advantage and that's maybe even like better than the Samsung Galaxy S21 by not having that microSD card. I mean that's a pretty crazy thing in my opinion. You still have IP certification the whole 9 yards so that's a really good thing about this phone but on the back, plastic back and I will tell you it has since grown on me. At that time it was kind of annoying but the S21 also had a plastic back so I think it's gotten better since then and it's gotten more I think we've gotten more used to it and I think visually the Samsung Galaxy S21 and this device actually look fairly similar you know this thing didn't have a curved display the S21 does not have a curved display so it seems like Samsung merged the S20 and the S20 FE combined into looking like the S21 in so many ways and we do have that triple camera setup on the back as well which we'll go ahead and hit on right now and this is without a doubt still one of the best features of this phone you have the triple camera setup to 12 megapixel wide, 8 megapixel telephoto, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And like I mentioned before, this is one of the biggest advantages of this device. 4K at 60 on this phone, no 8K, which is kind of annoying, but you do have a 32 megapixel front facing camera that you can still do 4K at 60 on that device as well. So it's a little bit of a give and take, but I think overall it's probably better off than not. And I think that's a really good thing about this phone. So in terms of the camera, thumbs up for me without a doubt. But we do have a little bit of a change in the software as well. Since this phone's release actually around the same time this phone was announced, we actually did end up seeing this phone get an extra year of software update and an extra year of security update as well if it's following the same line as the S20, which I think it will because it has the same chipset inside of it. So that's another pretty big advantage that this phone has. You're going to be getting a very solid phone when it comes down to the whole entire software life cycle. Although I'm not a fan of TouchWiz, I do have to give it a lot of you know credit where it's due, and I think that's a very good thing about this phone without a doubt. The battery life of this thing, 4500 million hours is still a very big battery. I think it's bigger than a lot of other phone batteries out there and for a cheaper phone I think that's a huge advantage. So in the middle of 2021 still a very good sized battery and ending it off with the performance. I mean this thing had that Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset with a couple of different model of RAMs. Base model had 6, the top tier models had 8 and this thing had that micro SD card slot so you can expand that storage if you want to but the RAM is always going to be stagnant as you guys know and I've always felt like the performance of this phone has been very very good. It's obviously Obviously not the best performing phone in the world anymore, but at that time when it was released, it was actually a very, very fast performing device. It was up there with the S20. You know, it had two gigs of less RAM. But if you get the top tier model, it would be about the same. So this phone without a doubt is still a very good performing phone for the price tag and I do think if you're in the market this is a very decent phone for the performance you know. I think if you're trying to play heavy intensive games or anything like that this phone's chipset is not even a year old in terms of the phone inside of it. It's a little bit over a year old when you consider when it was you know announced and manufactured but it's still a very strong chipset. The only thing bogging it down is the software. If it was stock Android it would have been a lot faster and everything but it's still a very fast phone and it's still a very good phone at that so I think ultimately you know, should you even buy a Samsung Galaxy S20 FE in 2021, middle of 2021 at that? Obviously, yes, this is a very good phone without a doubt. It has a lot going for it. It's very stable. It has a good future in front of it. It's definitely not perfect though. I mean, if you can get over the plastic back, if you can get over maybe the software and different things like that, then this is a, you know, home run in my opinion. This is a very good phone for the price tag. But I will tell you, in the used market, the Samsung Galaxy S20 is also around the same price and you may be better off just buying something like that. I mean, that is definitely the more flagship of a device. That one has a lot more going for it. So take it as you will, but that is essentially what I would tell you in that sense. Now, if you want to, then I would say go for it, you know, this device but like I mentioned something like a Samsung Galaxy S20 the standard one may be a better choice for you but that's essentially it if you want to buy this phone links will be down in the description you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know hit the like button but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else I love every single one of you guys hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then